Right, we're going to calibrate the screen because the screen said it needed calibrating. So we've already calibrated it because we're just seeing how good it was. But I want to show you quickly how to calibrate an SW320 with i1 Display Pro by x -Rite. So first off, you get the package out of the box. And then obviously you've got a disc, but you don't need to put a disc in because you want to go and get the most up-to-date software that you can. So you go to Google and then we're going to go here. So here we are, um, we're going to calibrate the screen. This screen did say that at the bottom it needed calibrating, but I've already done it as I already said. So basically we're going to show you how you get your stuff. So you go to x right. Right, so we go here. And then we go to products and then we go and find your one which will be the i1 family if you've got that and then you go to the product here which is view details and then you want to go to here training support because i've got the product there and i know which one it is you download x right device services via 3.0.17 for pc only or if you're mac get the v17.2 uh, and then you also download the profiler, which I went for the newest one, which was this one. You click download, it should take five, um, 30 seconds to 5 minutes, depending on your speed. And then once you've got it, you just unravel it or extract it. Then you um, restart your computer. Then it'll ask you for, um, do you want to update the new version? If there's a new update version of the 17th of September, 2017, depending on when you're watching this video. If there's an update, update it to the best one, it's just easier. Not all updates always work great, but normally with this sort of thing, it's professional and it needs to be done. And then once you've done that, then you've got your iWeb Profile um, logo or app here. And I'm just going to open it up. Oh, it's already opened. It's right here. And then it's basically opened up a whole selection of things. Now we're just going to do basic mode because we just want to get it done. So this works with uh, project projectors, scanners, uh, printers, I think I said, and display display, uh, display monitors. So this, I, being like a professional monitor for photography, video production, and animation, and illustration, and stuff like that. So we've got that. And what you need to do is connect on display profiling. And I've got it on the basic mode. And it's found out what screen I've got plugged in, and everything like that. And it's got other stuff for other things on there as well as obviously white point, luminous, uh, luminosity and gamma and stuff like that. Um, so basically I have got my wired Adobe uh, gamma range right there and I'm going to go click next. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this uh, measuring meter. So it's just got a lens in the front and an LED light to say it's ready to pick up the lighting. So you have it flat like this, and because I've got a shade, this is how I normally work. And then this is a counterweight on the side there. So now I'm just gonna place this in the middle, but I also have to put the tilt the screen back a bit. So I'm gonna do that now. And place this in the middle, put my shade over a little bit more. And then I'm gonna, I've got automatic display controls, so ADC or adjust brightness and contrast and RGB gains manually. So let's try it manually first, see how we get on. So start measurements, telling me to tilt the screen slightly back, not too much, so just slightly. That's in the middle. And then I click OK up here, then Tick contrast or RGB controls and that and it goes through everything. And uh, we watch and see what it says. Right, so if you've got um, RGB um, where you can obviously put the red or the green and the blue up, as soon as you go into the menu, which I don't think I've got on here, then once you adjust it, you can see, like if I've moved the red up or the blue or the green, it will start to come up. So it's saying that my green is perfect, but my red's not and my blue's not. But if I, I'm gonna check just to see if I've got it on here. Yes, right, so it's in here. So if I go to my custom profile and I go here, I can show you what I'm talking about now. So at the moment my red's off, so bring that down. 
No, actually, I've got to bring that up. Don't look like I can go, I can't go any higher. Right, green, that's perfect. And then blue, I need to go down. Right, that's perfect. But for some reason, I can't get the red uh, perfect. I need to go up one. So I can't do the red on the screen for some reason. But yeah, that's that's what would normally happen. This is meant to be all green. So anyway, I'll go to next. All right, now it's saying brightness is right up here and it needs to be in the middle. So I need to go into the menu again and then go down to my brightness, which is here. So do I need to bring my brightness down? Yeah, it's saying I need to bring my brightness down. Right, okay, oh, that's a bit too late. Right, that's, that's saying my brightness is perfect. Right, then next. Right, so what happens now, it says ambient diffuser, diffuser is not covering the lens, please rotate the ambient monitor into position. So what you need to do is obviously just flip it like this, so the lens goes underneath the diffuser. And then you take it out of your shade. And obviously I'm gonna put my screen back to where it was. Me, me, nobody can bring us down. So this is what happens, uh, this is before and after, so before, after. More clearer whites, more punchy colour, more realistic colour to be honest with you. This looks a bit like there's a bit too much orange in there and it starts to look a bit grey and stuff, whereas this one looks like the colours are separated how it's meant to be. Uh, let's try another picture, so let's put before first. Uh, go to mid-tones now, so it's before. This is after, before, after, low key, before, after, definitely better, before, after, cyan, that's after, before, it's got this grungy, orangey colour look, then after, white, crisp, like cyan colour, everything's nice, it just looks Perfect. Do it for Magento, Magento Eva. Even um, yeah, it just looks really like crushed. The colours look a bit too shadowy and stuff. Then after, looks more brighter, more punchier. You can see her eyes and uh, her lipstick all goes. It's all separated. After, it just looks like this stands out more. That stands out more. And a lipstick and eyes. Well, eyeshadow thing just disappears when it comes into play there. So before with a yellow, after just see a little bit of a tingy, like orangey, grey colour. Then reds. Yeah, it looks better, much better. Go before and after. Green. Yeah. Cleaner. Before. So go for blue. After. Yeah, the colours just look more nicer. They're more natural to, on my eyes. Uh, there's loads of them to be honest with you. That's black and white, let's look at that. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell the difference. 
Man, I wouldn't eat this. Looks like sepia. sepia. Um, wow, okay. Definitely, definitely worth it then. Right, and after you've done that, you just click on um, obviously home and then you register if you want to register and all of that. And yeah, that's about it. So that's how you calibrate your damn monitor, your SW320 BenQ monitor. And it does have a wider profile as well. And you can obviously do it all custom. And then you can use the sRGB or the RGB and everything like that. Um, so it depends on your own preferences. In the moment, I've literally covered the curtains up a little bit. So there's a little bit of a light splash coming through, but nothing major. So if you're interested in obviously purchasing SW320 monitor, check out the link in the description down below if you want to go and buy this monitor. I really do highly suggest it because it is a fantastic monitor. I'll be using it for about a month and it's really like the colors do crush everything. Um, and it's really clean, there's no bleed, and obviously it's 32 inches, and it's got a nice little hood on there and everything like that, and it's for everything I like doing. So video production, animation, and photography, and illustration. So it does everything I need. And this little companion, which is obviously if you need it to obviously calibrate the screen like this, which make sense. It don't really matter what screen you've got, but if you've got one of these, it does make sense to have to calibrate the screen, especially if you're doing it as a profession. And then um, obviously make sure everything's calibrated right with the colors. But yeah, it's on Amazon right now. I'll leave a link in the description down below. This is 178 pound to buy, which is uh, fairly expensive, but I know you can obviously go and hire them out as well for professional outlets for video production or photography places, especially if you're doing it all professional and you can hire it for about 20 pound a day. Um, but yeah, other than that, hope to hope this had enough information on how to calibrate your SW3 BenQ screen. Um, like this video if you like it. Obviously, subscribe and also ask me any questions you want about SW320 and how to calibrate it and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching.